Hi everyone and welcome to episode 3 in our collectibles mini series in UE4. In the previous two episodes we've managed to set up our collectible gems and we made up the uh, made them up so they can fly towards and attract towards the player when you collect them up. So to demonstrate you get this effect. Okay. So what's left to do now is a, a UI element to show you uh, that you are collecting these gems and it's recording it on the screen for you. So for this we need to make a heads up display. So I'm going to right click and create a new widget blueprint and you find that in the user interface section and we'll call this heads up display and in here um, I'm going to add a bit in the corner here with an image and then some text. So for this I'm going to do a horizontal box and we're going to name it whilst we're here to gem counter and inside the horizontal box we're going to put in a image and we're also going to put in some text so let's drag that in like so and because it's a horizontal box it's going to stack these two horizontally next to each other so click on the image uh, let's just move this away from here so we can actually see what we're dealing with So the image here, I've really imported an image in for me to use. So I'm going to go to brush and just use my gem image I've got previously made. And I'm going to click on the gem counter, which is the horizontal box, and tick size to content. And that will fix any stretchy issues because it will just size it to whatever size the image is. Um, then I'm going to click on my text block. And this value is the thing that's going to be changing because this is going to be variable. So when you're making a widget, if the thing that you, the, if the part of the widget is going to change during the game, then it needs to be variable. So on the right hand side, you've got an is variable box. You tick that, and more, more importantly, you want to name it as well. So we can do gem number, and I always put the what it is type afterwards, just so it helps me out. So I do gem number underscore text, so I know what it's going to be saying. Next, I'm just going to style it, so let's just center it align in the vertical. And I'm just going to increase the size a little bit to 30. Let's try 40. There we go. And you can use different font, you can do whatever you like, but that would do for me. Uh, this gem is looking a bit too straightforward, so let's just try give that a little rotation. So I'm going to scroll down to find Render Transform, expand the transform, and then I can tweak the angle however I like. Compile. Okay. So this value here needs to change. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, the ability for it to update based on our third person characters collected gem event. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an event dispatcher, which will then communicate out to when it's been collected a gem up. So on Event Dispatcher, click on New Event Dispatcher in the third person character. And we'll call this one Gem Collected. And at the end of this, I'm going to give it a pinch string, we don't need that now. I'm going to drag in my Gem Collected Event Dispatcher and tell it to call it. Like so. Now for this, what I'm actually going to do is also pass through the number of gems that are required, well, not required, that I have on the player character. So select your event dispatch on the left hand side, go to the right hand side and see inputs and click new parameter. And in here, we can do number of gems. And that'll be an integer. We can now hook that up to our current existing gem count from the, int uh, from the increment. So what will happen here is when we click the gem, it's going to increment it and then it's going to shout out that it's actually collected the gem up. So anything that's listing out for gem collection, it will now trigger on there too. So that means I can go to my heads up display and set up the bind of that event to this text here. So I go to my graph and let's make a, I'll not make one yet. Let's go into construct and get player character. We need to cast to the type of character we got. So mine's a third person character. And as third person character, we're going to come out of here 
I'm going to bind event to gem collected. So now this thing's going to listen out for that call out. And when it hears it, it's going to play whatever an event I uh, attach to it. So I'm going to come out of here and do a custom event and call update gem counter. And you can see that integer has come through on here as well. So now I've got this in play, I can drag my gem number text out, which is get, and then from there I can do set text. And it's as simple as just dragging it into the in-text there to convert it to a text. So now what's happening here is at the start of the game, the or start of the construction of the head of display, it's going to get the player character and read their bind and uh, read their gem collected event and bind it to the update gem counter here. So every time we collect a gem, that callout's happening, and then this bind is triggering alongside it. We hit compile. So all that's left now is to add this head up display to the screen. So we're going to do that on the game mode. So I'm going to go on my game mode here. And in here, we're going to do begin play. And we're going to ooh, create widget. And choose a head up display. And then we're going to promote that to a variable because it's good practice to have that there. And then add to viewport. And hit compile. So now when I push play, I can see the text block in the top hand corner. At the moment it just says text block, we'll change that so its default is zero. But when I can start collecting these up, you'll see it change to the number instead. So to change that default there, it's as simple as just going into the widget here click on text block and just changing the text here to zero and hit compile hit play and there you go and I can pick up all my gems and that's all there is to it if you like this video and you want to see more in the collectibles let us know what you'd like to see more of if you've got anything specific that you want to know how to do um, but that brings us to the end of the collectible series so thank you very much for watching uh, big shout, shout out to my patrons and those who suggested this video um, if you want to be part of my patrons and get access to videos early before anyone else you can head over to patreon.com forward slash ryanelli where a donation of just one dollar will get access to all that extra content early before anyone else on youtube big thank you to everyone who's been supporting me uh, this wouldn't be possible without you guys so thank you again for your continued support if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like as well and if you have any suggestions for future content, please leave a comment below. I'll be fascinated to see what you guys want to see. So thanks again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.